Hello, my preschool friends, and welcome to another edition of Mrs. Goodfriend's Story Hour. Today, we're going to read one of my favorite books, and it's all about laundry. Do you know what laundry is? That's right. It's our dirty clothes that we have to wash. You're right. And in this story, there is a character. There's this very happy lady, and her name is Mrs. McNosh, and she loves to do, you got it, the wash. Let's take a look at the cover and see what we can see. Oh, there's Mrs. McNosh, our, our character. What else do we see? You're right. We see a clothesline going across the top of our book. Hey, that looks just like the clothesline Mrs. Goodfriend used to wash when you helped me wash my clothes, right? And look, she has some socks hanging on her clothesline, and she has a big blanket and some long underwear just like Mrs. Goodfriend had. I think she likes to do the laundry just like Mrs. Goodfriend. Let's read and find out what she does with this laundry. Who do you see? Yes, I see Mrs. McNosh too. What does she have? You're right, a very heavy basket full of laundry. I wonder what she's going to do with that laundry. Let's turn the page and find out. Oh, what is she doing? What do you see? I see a barrel and a washboard, and it looks like Mrs. McNosh is washing her clothes. There's that clothesline again. Let's see what happens next. Wow, what do you see? Yes, there's all of her clothes. There's her skirt and her dress and her shirts. Wow, she's hanging all her clothes on the clothesline. I wonder why she's hanging her clothes on the clothesline. Let's turn the page and find out. Ooh, what do you see? Yes, I see some more wash. Another beautiful dress and some stockings and some Wait a second there. What do you see? Yes, there's some shoes. Hmm, and what else do you see? A newspaper. Wait a minute. Do we hang newspaper up on the wash line? What do you think? I don't know, and look, what is she doing? You're right, she's wringing out the newspaper. Looks like she washed that too. Hmm, I don't know. Do you think that was a good idea? What do you think's gonna happen to that newspaper? Yeah, she has one hanging. I wonder what's gonna happen to this piece though. Let's turn the page and see what else she does. Oh no, what do you see now? Yes, she's hung up her dog. And the dish, what else? Right, and the dog's bone. And you know what that is? That's a phone. That's an old fashioned phone. We use iPhones today, but this is what we used to have. I don't know, do you think she should hang up the dog and his dish and the bone and the phone? I don't know about that. Why do you think she's hanging all those things up? Hmm. Now let's see what she's hung up. You're right, she's hung up a bat. Wait a minute, a bat? That's an animal. That's not something we wear. The bats don't look to be too upset though, do they? What are they doing? They're smiling, <laughs> I think. Well, look, there's the letter Z. That means that they're sleeping. What else does she hang up? Do you know what that is? Her big wedding dress and a hat. And there's that phone again. 
Mrs. McNosh, you're very silly. How do you think Mrs. McMosh feels about doing laundry? Yes, look at her face. What is she doing? You're right, she's smiling. So we can think that she might be happy. Let's see what happens next. Oh, no. Look at all these things that Mrs. McNosh hung up. We know she hung up the bat. What else did she hang up? You're right, the lamp. And what else? The Christmas wreath. Oh my goodness. What are these? You're right, Grandpa's teeth. Oh boy, I hope Grandpa's not missing those teeth. Why would she hang up those things on the clothesline? Hmm, do you know? Do you have an idea? That's a thought. Let's see what else. Oh my goodness. Now what did she hang up? She did, she hung up a kite. And do you know what that is? The mail and some packages and more mail. You're right. Oh my goodness, do you know who this is? You're right, it's the mailman. What is he doing? Yes, he's running away. Why do you think he's running away? Oh, that's right. Maybe he's afraid that Mrs. McMosh might hang him up. That's right. Oh, there's another page. Oh, no. Now look at what Mrs. McNosh has hung up. She's hung up the ironing board and the trash can. What do you think that is? You're right, the vacuum. And that is a rake. And what else did she hang up? You're right, the turkey that she just baked. Silly Mrs. McNosh, do we hang up food? No. I don't understand why Mrs. McNosh keeps hanging these things up. Hmm. Oh, what's happening now? Oh my goodness, what did Mrs. McNosh do? You're right, she hung up the barrel full of water and oh my goodness, look at the little birdie. What's happening? That's right, he's getting all wet. It looks like he's taking a bath. And she hung up the washboard. And it looks like she's hung up her apron. She's taking her hair down. What do you think is going to happen at the end of our story? Those are great predictions. Tomorrow we're gonna read and find out what happens. I hope you enjoyed the picture walk today and I'll see you tomorrow for the read aloud. Bye for now.